I separated from my body and glided above the earth. Pausing to remind myself the importance of recalling who, where, and when I came from. I pictured Star Trek gadgetry in my mind and expressed the desire to locate alien technology within our solar system. I moved through space and time at the speed of thought. I emerged from hyperspace and entered the exterior of an unknown structure. was pulled into some kind of device. Unable to move, trapped. Holding down panic, I attempted my time travel trick, moving backward in time to the moments before the experiment began. I focused my mind and emotion like never before. A nick of eternity passed, and then, just like that, I was back in my body, safe and sound. Another close call. I'd like to hear a little bit more about your experience with time travel. Sure, I mentioned the time travel because, see, my thing is, I do the superhero thing. I go to bed, I, I'm out, I get the alarm signals waiting for me. Very dire. So I follow it, I shoot off. I look like Superman with the cape and I'm a ghost. I shoot off to, I'm high over England. Way up in the sky, I look down, I can see England, British Isles. The alarm's coming from the southern coast, so I shoot down and I get close to the coastline. I see an old sailing vessel. There's no sign of today's technology or any of that thing. I see this old sailing ship, a 17th or 18th century sailing ship docked at the shore. I'm hovering off the side of this ship. There's a ruckus on the deck and there's a man in a tunic with a woman. And the man is fighting off these pirates and he's, the man is cut up real bad and he's not going to make it. And he's the source of the alarm. And this particular alarm is, stronger than the others I had received previously. As I'm watching, I'm about to get involved and incapacitate these pirates to save this man in the tunic. In the next moment, he is stabbed through the stomach. I watch as he lifts out of his body and he goes up and away to the, the tunnel and the light in the sky, and he's gone. And then in the next moment, I am pulled into his body. I couldn't do anything about it. I'm just sucked right in there. And I have this sort of mind meld thing where I'm remembering how to fight with a sword, and I'm remembering all these things that I can do, or this person can do. I can feel all the cuts and stabs and it feels like hot, but it's not overwhelming. And so I'm able to muster enough energy to 
fight off these pirates and defeat them. I grab the woman and we run down the plank to the shoreline and we're going up this path along the shore there. And I turn around to make sure there's no pursuit, which there isn't. I realize the woman is going to make it to the village safely, and my job is done. So I lift out of this guy's body. I actually start my latest novel, Ram I Am, with, I put some of my experiences in my novels. So I describe it as I lift out of this guy's body and his body hits the dirt like a stampeded monkey. I have this nice, leisurely, beautiful flight over the ocean on the way home as a way to mitigate the violence that just occurred. I came to find out later that that was a past version of me that I heard calling for help. And later in uh, Robert Monroe's books, he was talking about... <laughs>